Okay, I'm Russ doing Nelson Fire Systems, and I'm uh, doing the training on the uh, uh, fire alarm system. And this is your main panel. Um, basically, you have your uh, your acknowledge switches for trouble and alarm acknowledge, your signal silence, your reset, the menu, and and so on. These are all your bypasses and all calls for the speakers, so like this one. Press an all call that activates all the amps in the building, and uh, you can get on the mic and testing, 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 and out there where the speakers are. There's no speaker in here, so <clears throat> if you open the door, we could, uh, if you want to prop it open, I can. Testing, 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 one, two, three, so you can do an all call and, and uh, all call um, the building. Or we have uh, each floor, so you can just select a floor, level zero, level one, level two, and penthouse. So you do have an uh, individual floor that you can select and just talk on, on each individual floor or, or the all call. Then after the all call, it is just a basically all your bypasses. So you got your speaker strobe bypass, press that. No speakers or strobes will um, activate in the building. Um, these are your loops. So level zero detector loop, level one detector loop, level two and penthouse. So you press those, you're, uh, you'll uh, then uh, you won't have any uh, act, um, your inputs are all bypassed on on those uh, loops. And then it goes green when it goes back to normal. These are all your outputs. I did add one here for access control. Um, tomorrow I'll have the new label for that. So uh, um, basically you have your fan and dampers, bypass, your roll down doors, your wand door, the door closers and door holders, and elevator recall, and then this will be your access control. So all those will be bypasses. These ones are your activations um, for, uh, um, for the mic. Um, basically on here when you get in trouble, Trouble acknowledge, we'll silence the buzzer here. Um, the only thing, the alarm acknowledge, when you have an alarm to acknowledge the buzzer here, you have to press the alarm acknowledge, so that's the difference on those two. Um, basically on a reset, when you want to reset the system, press and hold it for five seconds. If you just tap it, it's, uh, it'll, uh, um, it's just a lamp test, so make sure you hold it till it says resetting. Um, we got your maps. Um, I, will, I, I, I am going to have another set because I assume you want them at the remote enunciator yes. too, right? Um, are these big enough or do you want, uh, I, I can do 18 by 24 and put them in a frame or I don't know if these were big enough for That's you. Big enough. Okay, so we'll, I'll bring another set of uh, those uh, down for us. Um, basically on here, you get your, you get your description. I, L1M002, uh, you'll have a node here. So basically on these maps, you got uh, node one, loop one, node one, loop two, node two, loop one, and node two, loop two. Um, so basically on, on this panel is every time we add a board, basically it's a node. So our, our main motherboard, which has two loops, that's node one, our sister board for the detector loops, that's node 2, and then your node 3, 4, and 5, that's for your speaker system. So basically on this floor, we got a um, um, uh, speaker um, module and your amps um, on this floor. The upper floor has a, um, has a, a voice panel, and the uh, floor above that has a voice panel, and so that one's node 5, node 4, node 3. Um, so that's basically when you look on here on the faults, you basically want to try to look at the node. Um, nodes 1 and 2 will deal with uh, your detector loops. Um, anything node, um, node 3 and above uh, um, deals with your um, uh, speaker faults and stuff, so with your amp panels. Um, when uh, you silence, uh, when you go on alarm, press the silence. Um, that silences the speakers 
um, but your strobes will go until you reset, and that's just uh, state likes that. Uh, um, I know they had it in NFPA for a while, but they took it out, but uh, the state uh, um, kept it in their code because they like to be able to have it so you can silence the alarm and not bug the fire department inside, but then let people know that there's still um, an alarm. So your strobes will keep going until you reset, or you bypass if you, if you need to bypass them. But, but um, when you press signal silence, this light will come on. You may, it may not silence right away because it has to go through the full message. So if it's if it started, if you press silence when it starts the, the, the first part of the message, it'll keep going until it finishes the, uh, the message before it repeats. So, uh, so once this light's on, you'll know it's, it's, it's done its sequence, but it might uh, take uh, a few more seconds for the message to actually fully complete before it actually, um, um, actually uh, um, silences. So don't panic and keep pressing it because you're just going to deactivate it. So just press it once, watch the light go on, and then um, once that message fully completes before it repeats it, it silences. So. Um, so that's one thing on the voice just to remember, um, kind of different on a, on a horn strobe system that um, the, usually the horn strobe system they'll, uh, they'll silence right away but the honored voice it has to complete the message. Um, these are your transponders for our, basically wire terminations and your power splice for all your strobes. Um, so really the only time you need to get in these is, is uh, if uh, there's a problem or you need to change batteries. Your batteries for this main system are down here. All your um, batteries for the strobe power supplies are just right next to the power supply. So you'll have them just right here. Um, on these power supplies, <coughs> um, basically you have your lights here battery trouble, ground fault, signals one through four. These newer power supplies, they have a, um, on the circuits, I wish it would, they would have it on ground fault and the other faults, but, uh, but they only have it on the circuits. They have a reminder, kind of helps you if you have an intermittent fault. Once the circuit goes into trouble, it'll come in and um, Go solid, and then the panel will uh, um, tell you that you know this this floor transponder is in fault. Once it clears, the fault will clear, but this circuit blinks. That's saying that that circuit was in fault at one point in time. So it kind of helps you know what um, you know if you have an intermittent fault, what's going on. But it only does it on the circuits. So ground fault, battery fault, it won't do that. So, and, and just to clear that blinking light, there's just a little reset button here that you just press that to just reset the, uh, the, the power supply and it goes through and clears out that blinking light. So that's kind of a nice feature. I don't know if it was a new, uh, newer, if it was a UL feature, because I know the UL Knights kind of changed some stuff and that's when these came out with the, with the new UL Knights. So I, that could be a feature that they put in on the UL Knights, but I'm not sure because I haven't seen any of our competitors' new power supplies. So. But that's a nice feature for intermittent faults on the circuit. So if you have an intermittent open or an intermittent short, at least you can uh, come in and see what circuit it's uh, it's doing it. Now if you have an intermittent fault and no, none of the lights are blinking, that's when you can know it's either a ground fault or, or one of the other faults, you know, battery or aux, that kind of, kind of lit, gives you a little bit more help on those. So. Um, so this is where it will light up if the battery goes bad? Yeah, so you have your battery trouble, so when your battery fault goes um, that'll light up. Oh, okay. And then, uh, and then, uh, um, then it'll it'll clear when it when once it's clear. And uh, and then uh, it clears by itself. Yeah, yeah. The the panel it takes a minute for the panel to register, but uh, but yeah, it'll, it should clear by itself. Basically, any fault. Um, uh, when you clear the fault, more than likely it clears on the panel. Um, 
once in a while you have to use the reset on a treble, but usually, uh, usually once you clear the fault, it'll clear it on the panel, and then um, basically the only time you have to physically reset is an alarm condition. Um, so, uh, so, and then you're basically your terminals for you know this the field wiring. How often do the batteries need to be checked? Um, code recommends three to five years um, uh, uh, replacing them. We, we've dated them. Um, it's kind of the panel. The panels kind of tell you when they they, they start going bad. Um, so it's usually up, up to the um, the college what they what they feel. You know they you know like I said, code kind of recommends three to five years just replace them. But I've seen batteries last. Um, Five years. I've seen them last ten years. It kind of depends on how much uh, how much use and how much load gets on them. If you have a lot of uh, power outages and stuff, you know, sometimes they tend to start uh, depleting. But uh, you know, it's it's hard to say when they go bad. But uh, but uh, it's kind of up to uh, you know if you guys have any schedule on on your replacement or if you wait till the panel goes or or if you. <laughs> Some places, some 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 places, uh, um, kind of have a schedule, and they 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 go by their schedule. But um, but like I said, you know, when when the panel ones go bad, it'll 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 come up and and say battery fault on here. So you'll get a you'll get a um, uh, power fault that comes up, uh, and it'll say battery fault. We can unplug those, and we can show you on that one when that goes to fault. So it comes up fault battery and then your power fault light comes on. So. And then once you like when you lose AC this light will go off and your power light will come on also. So and then it'll tell you AC fault. Damps in your speaker circuits. Um, it'll uh, just come up and um, when you have one going to fault this is amp one, this is amp two. So it'll uh, come up and tell you which amp, which node, and uh, which uh, amp, and then which circuit on the amp uh, goes into fault. output fail AM51 on on your uh, well it's the node 3 and uh, node 1 or the amp 1 circuit B and so that's your that's your second uh, um, circuit on there um, for that so we, I can get you I, I, I forgot to print one out but I can get you uh, a manual on that too so you can look on those if you need it so. and I'm sure we have the uh, O&M's that have uh, sent through the contractor that uh, have everything on it so. this floor has two amps second floor has two amps and then third floor has uh, three amps on it, so for the level two amp house. So we got your the dialer module here. Um, I need to get the account and stuff from you to program that uh, today, if we can get that. Did I already give that to you? Uh, not for here, but I know that I've seen it. Positive. Yeah, you gave me. You sent me the one for that. Uh, the change out panel but I haven't seen anything on this one uh, so uh, that would be your dialer and then this is just a repeater for the, the network on on all the, the the cards so this this module all it does is when I basically for my supervision on here um, it uh, anytime one of these buttons pick it picks that and, and uh, puts a fault on the panel saying that there's a been a, a button uh, picked and that's about it um, we can uh, on the pull stations they're uh, dual action um, before you reset the panel 
you have to reset the uh, switch in the pull station, we can go and uh, and uh, show you those, and and we can pull a pull an alarm and uh, and and show you, you know, going through the silence and stuff on that also. Um, and then like on your roll down doors, anytime the alarm goes off, your door holders reset, all your roll down doors drop. Um, so you'll have to, uh, I, I did have a spare key. Um, they gave me a key the other day and I went and made copies. Um, so I did leave a spare key for the roll downs. Down so here for you have to manually do all, reset all those then. Yes. They don't go up. How many of those are there? There's, oh, there's one here. They're on the atrium of level one. There's six of them, I think, that uh, close off that atrium part on level one. And then I think on level two, there's one. And then you got also a one door in there. Captain job. I think so. And uh, on the roll downs, they won't even, uh, and until you reset, they won't even go out partial like your wand door. So, so you once they're down here, yeah, reset, reset, and then, then you have the to, yeah, and, and go and, uh, and open them back up. But you can do that from the remote and unseat. Reset. Yeah, you can reset from the remote. Well, we can, remote we can so show you the remote. Yeah, the remote and unseat. <coughs> so basically, on your remote, it's this module here, the LCD, and so anything you can do on this uh, this um, <coughs> thing, um, you can uh, do on the um, on the remote annotator. Now, we'll, before we go do an alarm or whatever, we can go through the menu options. You got your menu. So, like, if you want to bypass something, three for your I slash O. Um, level two is your password. Uh, six twos. So any any time it comes up, what what password? It's just uh, s um, six of the number. The only the only one difference is level four. Um, it makes us change that. So um, and but that's programming stuff. And we got a program on the laptop anyway. So and that's just four four zero 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 zero. So um, but any anything that you know you change time and date or whatever um, on any of those menu functions, it, whatever it comes up, level one, level two, level three, it's just six of the whatever number so so six twos enable disable device two um, so here's where um, you have to know the node so you go node one like if we want to bypass the the smoke here um, that one is uh, let's see where we at. node one loop one sensor 42 so we got node one okay loop one and then s or m so i go s and then i can go zero four two so that gives me my loop press okay then i can say zero for enable one for disable so i say one for disable okay it puts it into trouble you can back out of the menu and it'll come up and say disconnect that um, that module so if you just need to bypass the device um, uh, you can do that so and then to enable you go back in menu I slash O three six twos enable disable node one it's already there so you can press OK and say our uh, zero for enable okay you can see the trouble cleared and uh, you can back out of the menu then we also have your walk test so if you need to do a if you want to do a walk test of the building press two silent or audible or um, a drill um, you press three for silent press it um, and uh, you can go and uh, walk test all the devices and uh, um, you you won't uh, they'll they'll just reset after each other and you won't trigger any alarms. So if you need to um, go through and test stuff, that that's uh, um, what you can do on that. Menu two, and those are level one, so six ones, and then turn it off. Okay, and we're still in trouble sometimes in the lock test when there's. Um, a fault or supervisories it stays buzzing so that one I have to physically reset but they still have tampers closed I think they have the main and then they have uh, the penthouse ones I don't know if he's finished with the penthouse and greenhouse so I know he was still working on those the other day so 
I know that so we still have those closed um, also you got your log you could say six for log level two password come in and you can say display log one and you can go through and just go through the whole I think it's like a thousand memory log also if the panel is in normal condition um, you don't have to go in the log you can just start pressing the arrows but it'll only uh, it'll only allow you to do that when it's normal so so if it's normal condition you don't have to actually go in and and display the log you can just start pressing back back button and it'll start uh, going through the log um, the print log you have to have a printer or, or a hyper terminal on a computer um, and a cable for that so um, on your log that you know you you wouldn't be able to do the print and uh, unless uh, that you got your sensitivity you got a clear log so if you press three you can uh, it'll say okay to clear log you can okay and it's cleared the 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 whole log and you can start over so so if you wanted to um, if you had too many um, faults in there and you wanted to start it over um, it'll uh, you can clear it out basically on the on that it has I think it's a thousand thousand event memory once it reaches a thousand it just uh, it just basically rolls over the last uh, last ones on that so it'll, it'll stay in there until you actually clear it um, you got your clock it doesn't have daylight savings so um, uh, you need to uh, change your clock settings um, on that they one for time, put in their time. Does it cost extra for daylight savings? <laughs> they, don't, they don't have a function on that, so. And then two to change your date. If for some reason you power down and you need to change your date, um, change the date. And, and then seven it just checks the it tells you the version of the panel um, software versions <coughs> and eight is I'm not sure on the INST but it kind of just tells it says game low FCI so I'm not sure what that one that one is config is is for a uh, downloading stuff but uh, this one um, I, I highly recom or, um, recommend not doing anything in there because because uh, it has the the programming through the laptop on that so um, basically that's that's it on the menu functions um, and any other questions you have on the panels we basically have one of these and then a voice panel on the other floors just right above us we can go and look at those if you want but they're the they're the same you have your power supplies some terminations and then you have a little smaller can that has the the um, the, the boards for the amps and the speakers and that on the uh, on the other floors um, then we can go out and we can pull a pole station and and do that each of your uh, detectors um, are labeled and uh, um, we can't you can barely see it with the cap on but it, it'll have N1 and then L1S00 I think that was seven um, so uh, so it gives you your node and the the, uh, the loop and the and the um, uh, device number S is for sensor M's for module so any monitor point pull stations um, tamper switches, water flows, that, those will be a M. Your smoke detectors, duct detectors, any heat detectors, they'll be a, um, uh, an S um, after the loop. So, um, so that's just um, differentiates from sensor to module. So, so we're good? Okay. So basically when we pull pull station, push in, pull down, come in, say activated, the light will come in and go solid. Um, showing you that that uh, pull station, so it'll, it'll go red in a second, but it shows you that that pull station's been activated. Um, come in and, uh, and before you reset the panel, May press I that uh, back to normal. May I have your attention, please? And uh, then that's there ready to fire reset. Alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and evacuate the building.
So then it'll come up and give you a description, and then it gives you the node one manual station. Um, so on. So when you press silence, that light will go on. But as you can see, it's still going because it's finishing the message. May I have your attention, please? And once that message uh, finishes, there has been a fire reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest and then that and evacuate. Alarm acknowledge will uh, um, silence the, the uh, buzzer on here. And then your strobe stays silenced until you reset. To reset, just yeah, press and hold for five seconds. It'll come up and say resetting, and uh, and you can uh, reset. So do you, it, do any of the remote enunciators have the microphone on them? No. So it's just the main panel. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's that's uh, you you can do it, but it's uh, it's pretty pricey yeah. because we have to add uh, one of those uh, yeah. um, amp boards for that. <clears throat> I don't know if they, but we spent that money on a window, I know. <laughs> Just uh, press it to open it and it opens them up. And I'm pretty sure they're all keyed the same. So uh, that'd, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, um, on I think it's level one, the, um, on the uh, north side, they have a security gate that's part of the egress, and so that goes up in alarm, um, and uh, and so that one, if you need it back down, you have to use the key to put it back down. And where's that one? That one's up on level one on this uh, north end towards that the uh, common hallway. North so there's, of the there's, yeah, there's two there's two gates, but for some reason they claim this one's the only part of the egress on there because it they egress out. Um, towards the other building, so that one right now is only uh, um, wired to uh, go up. The other one right now is not uh, wired to go up on alarm or so. So all of the uh, drop-down gates, doors, whatever, they all operate the same? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and those, uh, those atrium ones there on level one, they come down the same as this, and, uh, and they, they have the I think there's a bank of switches just on the on the wall up there that you uh, go through them to. Uh, so we've got uh, all those up. one here, and it seems like there was one in a hallway on this level. No, the there's, hallway, there's one uh, up on level two, right, over by the stairwell that goes down um, down to the street. Um, up on level two, there's one that uh, there's one that comes down, and there's a wall saw one door up there. So. This is your uh, uh, main main hall that connects your buildings, and this is the atrium area. They have the roll down doors for those uh, for the atrium uh, still up there. Yeah. Okay. Now this is the security gate that opens up. There. That one, that one's a security gate. That one doesn't open. That one over there does. Oh, because that one's not part of the. Egress, so they right, yeah, because they have the stairwell. So. This one, I think they have the part of the egress is to go out into, your, um, into the P building, so, uh, so they had to have that one go up. <clears throat> Are there smoke detectors on the grid too, or just on the grid? No, just on the grid. So this one will, you know, alarm go up. Yeah. <clears throat> And then we have on level two, we can go up and we have the uh, one door and another one down door up there. Okay, we're on level two and this is your one door and there's a roll down door on the same side. And this one, yeah, you just open the same way you'll open. Now on this one, when you're in alarm, I think it opens partial. So you can kind of go through it and then it closes back. The roll down door oh, looks like that one is down there. Oh. That one has a bad <laughs> So that one should drop, but it didn't, so. Maybe that fix before tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, upstairs on your uh, duct detectors, you have uh, um, some on the main units. Uh, I think there's two on the returns, and then, a, and then one on the, the big supply that goes down the shaft. And then uh, everywhere there's a fire smoke damper above the ceiling. There's a duct detector.
there, and so those are shown on the map. So. Is there any detection in the penthouse? Uh, the pen or the yeah, there's you got your sprinklers, and then there's heats up in there. Um, also, your greenhouse, that hallway has weatherproof heats. So in the greenhouse, in the rooms, they don't have anything because it's all sprinkled. But uh, in, in that hallway, um, they put weatherproof heats instead of smokes because you can't get weatherproof uh, smoke. And so I'm guessing that they, because they're going to have, I don't know if they'll have probably condensation and moisture in there. So, but those are just yeah, the weatherproof heats up there. Um, those are 200 degrees, so you, you shouldn't have to worry about uh, them. Uh, with the, with the glass right up there with them uh, shouldn't uh, be triggering them unless it's really sure. hot in there. So I think they're 200 degree fixed, I think so. So the other panel is right down here. To yeah, we got one that, um, in the com room here. We can go look at it and then just below us, there's uh, uh, another one. But these don't, do these panels have any control features? No, no, basically so the only time they ever have to get to these is if you maintenance for maintenance, stuff. yeah, for okay. bat changing batteries, uh, uh, um, checking, you know, so we got one by the door and the one downstairs. And if you want to make an announcement, go to the main panel. Yeah. <coughs> All the keys are generic for everything, so the standard PK625 will open up your battery cabinets, transponder cabinets, um, voice panels, and your pull stations, so it's all generic. So, um, And there's your, uh, that's your voice panel, and then your, uh, your, uh, um, your transponder panel for the strobes and terminations.